One of the main issues I encountered when I first started astrophotography was out of focus images. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to nail your nighttime focus so you can get sharp images every single time. In most circumstances, autofocus does not work for astrophotography. And that's simply because the camera cannot find sufficient contrast in the scene in order to set the focus point. You can simulate this exact problem by pointing your camera at a whitewash wall and trying to autofocus on it you'll struggle. With astrophotography, you need to be shooting at infinity focus in order to get sharp images of the stars and the nighttime features. And that is because those stars are light years away. So forget anything other than infinity. So in this video, I'm gonna help you set infinity focus on your lens so that when you go out into astrophotography situations, you can get sharp images using manual focus. Now, the first step in this process is, I like to come to locations where I've got a clear and clean object that sits by itself in order to use for our focusing experiments. So you can see behind me, I've got this pretty little lighthouse here. And this is perfect because it's high contrast and it's got delicate features that I can use to judge sharpness. Now, the best kind of objects tend to be trees or towers, for example, particularly those that sit against the skyline because again, it boosts that contrast. Next, you wanna set up your camera on a tripod and point it directly towards the object, putting it bang center in the middle of the frame. Now, if you're using a lens that's got autofocus, the next part of the process is quite simple. Simply select a single focal selector on your multi-selector on your camera and put that bang on the actual object and use the autofocusing system to find focus on that object. Then you want to change your camera lens or your camera body into manual focus mode. Then essentially you need to just make a mental record of where the actual barrel, the manual focusing um, focus identifier is pointing towards. Now the easiest way to do this is to use a pencil or to use some tape or a marker of some sort to mark a line where the infinity reading is. The alternative to that is you could actually just take a picture of where the lens is telling you where the infinity line is. My actual lens is the Samyang 14mm f2.8 and that doesn't even have autofocus. I've got no alternative but to set my focus manually. I'm not really addressing the elephant in the room here and that is that most lenses actually have an infinity marker. So surely all you have to do is actually move the manual focus ring to that infinity marker and away you go. Well, not necessarily. The calibration of focus differs between manufacturer, model, and even individual lenses. This means that true infinity doesn't always actually fully sync with the actual markings on your lens. For example, the Samyang that I own, True Infinity actually sits about a centimeter away from the markings indicated on the lens itself. So I recommend that everyone actually goes through the following manual steps in order to find and test Infinity Focus on their astrophotography lenses. For best results, I'd recommend using the aperture that you intend to use for your astrophotography. So for me, that's f2.8, but for you, it could be f3.5, for example. Next, you wanna switch your camera into live preview mode. Then you wanna actually zoom on your live preview mode right into the object that you have chosen. So for me, it's a lighthouse here, and you wanna apply maximum focus into that object. Then you wanna slowly twist your manual focus ring and pay really close attention to the fine details of the object that you have chosen. And basically just keep on twisting it until the object looks at its absolute sharpest in your LCD. It's also worth pointing out that many cameras now come equipped with focus peaking, which is a tool that you can use that gives like a visual indicator when you've actually got sharp focus in your image. If you've got it on your camera, please enable it because it will make your life that little bit easier when you're trying to visually judge whether your actual image is in focus. Once you've found the sharpest point on your lens that you think is true infinity, then you need to make record of this so when you next go out on an astrophotography shoot, you can easily set your manual focus to the correct focus point and get shooting straight away. Now, the easiest way to do this is, as I said earlier, use a pencil or a bit of tape or a marker to mark off where this true infinity point is. Alternatively, just take a picture of your lens and make sure you don't delete that image. 
If you find that you don't have sufficient time in order to go through this preparation before you actually go out, you can actually find your infinity focus out in the field. Now you can do this one of two ways. If you're using an autofocus lens, if you're lucky enough to be in a location where there's like a bright object that sits by itself, say for example, a building that's well illuminated or a very bright star or the moon, for example, the autofocus on the camera may be able to pick out and actually set your infinity focus on that actual object. Um, if that doesn't work, you can actually go through the same manual process. Go onto live view, zoom into that object and manually adjust your focal ring until you actually get sharp focus. So that wraps up this video. I'm hoping that after watching this, you'll never again have another awful out of focus astrophotography shot. I've had my fair share of those over the years and I've learned the hard way. So I'm kind of shortcutting that experience for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, as always, any likes or comments are great. I'd um, love to hear from you if you've got your own individual tips in order to find infinity focus. I know there's more technical ways you can do it with hyperfocal range, etc. but I've just tried to keep it nice and simple. Um, and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's always very much appreciated. I'll see you all soon.